I'm really excited for today's video because I'm gonna be reviewing the new Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, the new shades and the previous shades. I was able to buy all six of them this time, so I was super happy about that. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a review, some swatches, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some dupes to each individual color. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So I'm going to start off with the packaging, the delivery service, and the process of me ordering on her website, which was so much easier than last time. The first time I ordered on her website, it was so difficult. Literally, everything sold out like in five minutes. This time around, everything sold out in 15 minutes, which is still insane. Like, 100,000 people were on her website. So let me tell you guys my process of ordering. So I was on her website two hours before just because I wanted to be prepared because I knew that at 12 noon she was going to launch them. So I basically went on her website, 12 hit. I added everything to my cart. It was so easy. Everything was still in stock. I checked out. I got my confirmation email about 20 minutes later, which is so quick. Last time, when the first time I ordered, it literally took about seven days just for me to receive a confirmation email, which is insane. But this time around, I'm pretty sure they were expecting the traffic. So they were prepared and everything went nice and smoothly. Then I got my shipping confirmation about four days later, which is not bad. And then I got my box in the mail on Thursday, which was seven days after I placed my order, which is not bad, but I feel like it's something that they can improve because if they're in California in the US and you live in the US, there's no reason why it should take seven days for you to receive a product. So besides that, I was really happy with the process of ordering and all that stuff. Um, and then it came in this box right here, which looks exactly like the actual packaging of the lip kits. So you get this box right here. And then when you open it, it says Kylie and then Kylie Cosmetics on the top and then you get a card with a note from her. I feel like everyone got different cards in the mail from what I've seen. And then this is what the lip kits look like. I got all six of them so I'm just going to quickly go through the packaging because the new formula and the old formula are completely different. So before I go into the formula and talking about the actual product, I just quickly wanted to mention the price of this product. So it retails for $29.99, which is not bad because you're basically paying $15 for a lip liner and $15 for a liquid lipstick. And I feel like the liquid lipstick and the lip liner are both really great quality so you're definitely getting your money's worth so you get this really pretty box I actually really like it it's sleek straight to the point and I feel like it reflects her you get the name of the actual product this one is Coco K and it's the one that I'm wearing on my lips today and it, actually this is my favorite one and the new formula I feel like is so much better than the old formula I mean I like both formulas but I'll go into details as to why I like the new formula and then inside of the actual package you get the lip liner so you can sharpen it if you ever run out of it and then the liquid lipstick is right here i'm not sure if this is plastic or glass i feel like it is glass it's definitely not plastic and then it comes with a applicator like this and i'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see it but this is the applicator i really like the new one this is coco k which is a new formula new packaging it's a little bit more precise and smaller so you definitely can be more careful when applying it on the lips. I quickly just want to show you guys the old applicator. The new one is definitely much more smaller and rounder so you can definitely take your time applying it on your lips. The liquid lipstick does not dry super quickly which is great because it's nice for people who like to overline their lips like I do. And then the old applicator it's much longer, slimmer and skinnier as well which I don't like because when you remove it from the actual container a lot of product actually comes out. It's easier for you to make mistakes so the new applicator I'm absolutely in love with it and I think she did a great job. Now I want to talk about the formula because Kylie Jenner did announce that she changed the formula of her liquid lipsticks and when I was like applying them on my lips I was able to see that because the old formula is definitely creamier, it's thicker in consistency and it definitely took a lot longer for it to dry on my lips. Another thing was that you couldn't apply a second coat of her liquid lipstick because it'll just crumble off your lips so the old formula actually was okay if you applied one swatch but if you applied a second one definitely did not work on your lips the new formula I really like and I'm not just saying that I bought this with my own money and I want to give you guys an honest review 
I really like it. It reminds me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. It takes a little while for it to set on your lips. I want to say like 10-15 seconds. But when it dries, it just sets onto your lips and it doesn't move from there. It doesn't transfer as well. The only one that did transfer from my lips was True Brown Cave which did come off a little bit when I was like putting pressure on my lips. I rubbed my fingers over my lips and a little bit did come off, but it was still there on my lips. And I was able to apply a second coat. It didn't look bad at all. It was not crumbling off my lips. It just looked really good. So I was really happy with that as well. The lip liner, I also really like. It reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay lip liners, which are super expensive. So 15 bucks for this is not bad at all. They're really creamy and easy to apply on the lips. And that's something that I love about these lip liners so now I'm gonna move on to the swatches and I'm gonna review each individual product and tell you guys how I feel about it and how I swatched on my lips and how I feel about the color so I'm gonna start off with the lightest to darkest and the lightest is Coco K which is the one that I'm wearing on my lips so Coco K is definitely my favorite shade like I told you guys before. I'm first going to apply the lip liner and the lip liner for Coco K was so easy to apply. It went on so smoothly. It didn't give me any issues at all. I feel like the MAC lip liners are a little bit more drier than these. Like I said, these remind me a lot of like the Urban Decay because they're really creamy. So this is what it looks like just with the lip liner. Now I'm going to go on and apply the liquid lipstick. This was so easy to apply and you guys, I only needed one coat because literally one coat covered everything. And it's basically like my lip color but enhanced. It's a beautiful, cool tone, light, mauve baby pink shade. And I think it looks so pretty with this makeup look. It was completely dry. I tried to tap it to see if anything will come off and nothing came off my lips. To remove it, I just basically used a makeup remover wipe and it came off so easily. I feel like Coco K was definitely the easiest to remove. Now we're going to move on to Candy K. Candy K is also one of my favorites. It's a really pretty warm, neutral, mauve pink shade. Like I said before, all the lip liners were so easy to apply. So I'm not really going to, going to go into details about lip liners because I feel like they all pretty much did the same thing. I do want to say though that the lip liner does make a huge difference because I did apply the liquid lipstick without the lip liner and it didn't stay as long as it did when I applied a, a lip liner. So that's why the lip kit comes with a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick because you're supposed to use them both together. And I also tried to tap my fingers on my lips, it was completely dry. I also kept pressing my lips together and nothing came off. So Candy K is also an A plus for me because it worked really well on my lips. And the Candy K was definitely so a little bit harder gorgeous. to remove from my lips, which for me, that's a good thing because it means that if I eat or if I do anything with it or if I kiss my boyfriend, nothing is going to come off my lips. And I did want to mention because I forgot to bring this up. All of the liquid lipsticks have a really sweet scent to them. Like they all smell like cupcake, which I personally like. I don't know if a lot of you guys are into that, but it's not super intense. I feel like the old formula was a little bit stronger. So my crayon actually came broken and this is by the way Dolce K, which is also one of my favorites. I mean, I, I love all of them. I can't say this is my favorite because they're all my favorites. So I'm just gonna put this on my lips. Like I said, the lip liners were so easy to apply. I feel like Dolce K is definitely the one color that looks so different on everyone on me i feel like it looks like mauvey light brown ish like reddish brown i feel like that's what it looks on my lips but i really like it because it's super intense and it's one of the colors that i've been gravitating towards this past year so much so i really like the formula of this one as well it was a little bit more drier than the other ones but nothing too crazy Dolce K was probably one of the hardest to remove from my lips. Now we're going to move on to Posey K. Posey K is so pretty, you guys. It's a beautiful magenta pink shade, and I really like it. The lip liner was so easy to apply, and then when I applied the liquid lipstick, it went on so nicely. It was so pigmented, so easy to apply, and I just really love this color. I feel like this is going to be my go-to color this summer because it's just so pretty. It's calling spring and summer.
One thing I noticed while I was removing Posty K was that it actually left a stain behind on my lips and actually none of the other liquid lipsticks did that to my lips. Next up we have Mary Jo K which is basically a cool tone blue red. These are the types of reds that I gravitate towards because I feel like they look the best with my skin tone. I love the lip liner. I feel like I can wear the lip liner by itself and I don't need to wear the liquid lipstick but I did apply the liquid lipstick and I feel like Mary Jo K did dry the fastest from all the other liquid lipsticks which I mean it's not really an issue but I mean if you're making mistakes it is an issue. So this is one of the colors that you definitely have to take your time with because if not, you're going to be removing, applying, reapplying, removing, and you want to avoid that because that actually messes up your foundation, which happened to me with True K Brown, which we're coming up right now. So I just want to show you guys, I did tap my lips and just press my fingers against my lips and a lot of product actually came off. This was the first time it happened with one of the lipsticks. It actually happened with this one and then with True K Brown as well, which... I'm going to show you guys in a second. This is also a color that was easy to remove from my lips. I didn't really have any difficulties removing it and I just feel like at this point my lips were just a little bit sore. Now we're going to move on to True Brown K. I absolutely love this color. Oh my god, I am so obsessed. I don't think I've worn brown like ever and I think it looks so beautiful on me. I feel like I need to wear this type of color more often because it just looks so nice. Like I've seen it on Kylie Jenner before and she looks absolutely gorgeous with it and I really like how it looks so I basically applied the lip liner first and then I went on with the liquid lipstick and I applied it this got a little bit messy because I feel like this also dried up a little bit quickly another thing is that I feel like true brown K was definitely another one that came off the easiest off my lips and it did give me that butthole lips I know a lot of people complain about that I personally don't care because I feel like it's gonna happen no matter what unless you're wearing a liquid lipstick or a lipstick that's the same color as your lip color but like I said true brown was also another color that came off my lips really easily and that's something that I did not like but I was so in love with the color so now that we're done reviewing each liquid lipstick I wanted to show you guys some dupes that I found that are on point like literally these colors are right on so let's go ahead and jump into this swatch Wish for this moment to never go away But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find You're a beautiful sight in the summer night And you can't put up a fight in the misty light So I definitely have different feedback for each individual lip kit, but my overall thoughts is that she did a really great job with the lip kits and the new formula. I think something that they can work on is the delivery service. It takes so long for you to receive it, but besides that, I'm really happy with the product. I think the price is good as well because you're getting a high quality lip liner and a really good quality liquid lipstick as well. So I'm glad I have backups of each individual lip kit because Jose was kind enough to give me the entire collection. So that pretty much sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have the lip kit, let me know what you think in the description box below. If you had a different experience with it, I want to hear it. So comment down in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you all in my next one very soon. Bye guys.